we continue our hope series today as we look once more at what does it take for us to keep faith, to have hope in the midst of hard times. As we jump into that today as a community, we are opening up our Bibles to the book of Ruth. The book of Ruth is one of these great examples in the Bible of a story of God's faithfulness in a time of hardship. As you just saw, the family at the center of this story, Naomi and her husband and her two sons and daughters, the family at the center of this story is facing an immense hardship. Naomi loses her husband, her two sons, and this that you see this bitterness welling up in her. You see this, this hardship, this challenge that threatens to overcome her. When they go back to Israel, at this point it's just Naomi and Ruth. Ruth, Ruth has had this, this moment of immense loyalty to her mother-in-law. They go back to Israel, where Naomi is from, where her she grew up and her sons grew up and they get back to their town and the women of the town gather around her and they say, can it be, can this be Naomi? And she says, don't call me Naomi. My name is Bitter. She changes her name because she's so overcome by the grief that she has experienced. The Bible doesn't shy away from this. The Bible doesn't hide the hardness of life. Life is hard. The world is broken. Things are not as they should be. And that's why as a church, as a people, we are longing, we are yearning for the time when Jesus will make all things right, when he will restore things to as they should be. But in this time, in, in the lives of these people, in the lives of so many of us, stuff's hard. The Bible doesn't shy away from that. Naomi is just raw emotion. She says, don't even call me Naomi. My name is Bitter. There's a temptation that we have sometimes in points of hardship, whether it's our own or someone else's we we feel like we have to find the silver lining and so we'll say to people we'll say don't worry god is doing this for a reason but when we say that i think we get god a little wrong because when we say, oh, maybe this pandemic is happening for a reason when we start to look at why is this happening and what what did people do to make this happen? When we start looking at that, we start thinking about a God who would kill all of these people just to prove a point or just to make something else good come out of it. That's not the God that we believe in. Instead, the picture that we see again and again in Scripture, and the picture that we see in the book of Ruth, is that we have a God who even in the midst of the most brokenness, even in the midst of the most challenge and hardship that happens in the world, because the world is broken, even in the midst of that hardship, we have a God who works to redeem. He redeems even the most broken of situation. He redeems, he fixes even the most challenging, the most most broken and hard and mournful time. He will redeem those things and he can bring about good purposes even in the midst of stuff that seem irreconcilable. Naomi talks to her friends and she says, don't even call me Naomi, I am bitter. And then over the next couple pages, we see God working. He's working behind the scenes. He's working in Naomi's daughter-in-law, Ruth, who is the hero of this story. She's a rock star. He is working in this guy, Boaz. It calls him the kinsman redeemer. It's an old ancient Israelite custom, but that word redeemer is important. God is working in Boaz to redeem what is broken. That's the God we serve. God is not doing this for a reason. God is not, is not giving 
people this illness just to prove a point. But in the midst of this hard time, in the midst of Naomi's hard time, God is working through his people. He is working through our community. He is working through the people in your lives. He is working through your family to redeem what is broken to fix what seems unfixable, to bring hope in the midst of hardship, and that's what God does here too. We've talked a lot about Naomi's bitterness. Catch what she says at the end. At the end of the book of Ruth, after Boaz and Ruth have a baby, the women again gather around Naomi. Remember that image before the women gathered around her when she got back and she says, don't even call me Naomi. Now they gather around her again and they say to her, praise be to the Lord who on this day, who has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout Israel. They gather around her again and they praise God for what he has done. God redeems even the most broken of situations. God will redeem whatever is wrong and broken in your life too. That is the God we serve. God is a redeemer. We see this in the person of Jesus. Jesus gives us hope that what is broken will be whole again. That is the message of the Bible. That God is our Redeemer. Trust in that and know that to be true.